The Tesla Powerwall app will be your main resource when changing settings or viewing the health of your system. On the main page, you can see the overall uh, storage of your battery. Right now, we're at 98% for this system at our office. If you click on PowerFlow, you can get a brief overview of where your energy is going. Currently, we've got solar production happening, and that's going into the power wall to keep the power wall charged. And then the excess is going to power the loads in the home. Keep in mind that your power wall should only, will only, be charging from the solar, um, especially if you were installed with solar. Um, you can also click on any one of these circles and get a more detailed graph of where your energy is going. You can view the month, day, week, and year. We'll go back here to the day view with a more detailed graph. In here, you can select on the other parameters. So if we look at, this is the energy that the home actually used. This is the energy that went back to the grid down in that gray section below. That was all backfed. And this is where our power wall is. Because we're in backup mode, it's mainly just had to keep it topped off and charged, which is why you see that green down there on the, uh, the beginning of the day. If we go back to our main screen, you can see performance of the system. So right now we're looking at the month of, uh, or the last week, but we can also look at today. And this is telling you how, how self-powered uh, you were today at your home. So that's pretty fun to look at. We know with our system, we're about 50 to 60% on average. If you go down to the Customize tab, this is where you can change the settings. There's just three basic settings. Uh, the main one is keeping it in backup mode. Uh, this would be used for um, charging your battery up to 100% and then just leaving it there. That will ensure that you have the most backup capacity when there is an outage. Uh, we definitely recommend keeping it in backup mode in the winter time. Self-powered mode, that allows you to charge your battery from solar like normal, but then your battery will power the loads in your home and actively be used as a uh, device to power your home. Um, if you do set self-powered mode, you want to make sure you look at your reserve power and set that to a, a limit you're comfortable with because in the event of an outage, um, you may only have what's left with that reserve. So for our system, if we lost power and we were down at 60%, then that means we only have 60% of our total battery's capacity available. Uh, so, so be aware of that and talk to us if you have questions about different ways to set that up. Um, the advanced time-based control, that's not really used here in the Northwest. That's for utilities that have time base uh, or time of use charges. Um, but for there, you can basically select uh, when you want the power wall to be used by your home. Um, you can play around with it. There's just not a huge benefit here in the Northwest for that setting to be on. And then the final setting is just an on off and it's storm watch. We recommend keeping this on basically when there's a severe weather event uh, or a weather uh, advisory in your area, Tesla will automatically send a notice to your battery and that will rapid charge it up to 100% if it's not already there. And that ensures that in a storm, you've got the most capacity possible. So be aware of that. Uh, it's, it, it is easy to turn on and off. You just click that button. Um, we recommend just leaving that on and uh, and in wintertime, when there's a severe storm, uh, this should be triggered, but it, it has to be a weather advisory uh, that actually triggers this. Uh, and then you can also select, if you do have a, a, a EV charger installed with your system, how much energy you would want to use uh, from your system for charging your vehicle during an outage. The last category here, the backup history, this just shows how many times you've lost power and how long. Uh, when you see these little five and six minute chunks, those are typically not losing power. It's just a voltage fluctuation where the power wall engages uh, and then it, it re reconnects with the uh, grid voltage. Um, so this can happen from time to time with the, you know, you may see a flicker of the lights 
and uh, that's typically when the power wall might engage if it if it has some voltage fluctuations like that. Otherwise, you're going to see how long it was off uh, for a full outage, like this one hour, 16 minutes there. Uh, you also should get a notification on your app when you do lose power. Um, these things engage pretty quick, so sometimes it's hard to notice. Uh, you might not even see the lights flicker, but this is a great indicator of what had happened. Uh, if you have more questions, please reach out to us at service at a-rsolar.com. Thank you.